Nigerian rapper Jude Abaga, popularly known as MI, has declared his solidarity for people from the southeastern region of Nigeria, known as Igbos. The popular rapper on Wednesday took to Twitter to show love and support for Igbos, calling on other Nigerians to do the same as he launched the hashtag I am Igbo to campaign. This comes shortly after the president of Nigeria, Major General Muhammadu Buhari, retired, sent a warning that was perceived as a threat to the Igbos who had commemorated their counterparts that died during the Nigerian Civil War of 1967-1970. The president, in a now-deleted tweet, had written, Many of those misbehaving, they are too young to be aware of the destruction and loss of lives that occurred during the Nigeria Civil War. Those of us in the field for 30 months who went through the war, we treat them in the language they understand. Reacting to the tweet, MI posted a video with the caption, The narrative that Nigeria hates ego people is an outdated contest that we live with the old and bitter generation. Today, let us stand with our ego family and say, Hashtag I am ego too. In the video, he said, I can't imagine being an Igbo citizen and seeing those tweets yesterday. I can't imagine how it would have made me or made them feel. So I thought it could be beautiful today if we really or rally around or re organically on Twitter. Just post videos and messages on our timeline to tell our Igbo brothers and sisters that we are one and that we are Igbo too. As of the time of the report, the Hashtag I am ego to campaign is the highest trend in the Nigerian Twitter space. Okay. Uh, now, this man is crying. What is his name? Gaba, uh, not a uh, live moment. He say, oh, Twitter is being, is being, is playing double standard for deleting Buari's tweets. <laughs> well, you all want to move me to tears with the overwhelming outpouring of love and support for the egos. It goes to show that we are aware of the injustice and the hate is a sponsored one. To multitude of my Yoruba friends, colleagues and brothers, I am touched by this solidarity and show of love. I love you too and we always support everything that is the best of your interests. Never again. I am Igbo. It is very obvious that Buhari has failed woefully. A president's tweet is deleted falsely. Those supporting incompetent Buhari should be ashamed of themselves. God bless MI and all lovers of truth. Indigenous people of Nigeria must be free from British bondage and invasions. Well, it is not Buhari's tweet that is first to be deleted. Go and ask Google. Okay. Uh, you are just not normal, uh, Wirisha. You will always find ways to justify nonsense. Ibrahim, you can say. And so, it justifies his intentions for the deleted tweet, right? Ewu Damaturu. Uh, why should he be among those their tweets will be deleted? You know, they don't have shame. Say, hey, after all, there's no big deal about it. But that it will tell you that uh, there's something wrong about it. Because those those whose tweets have been deleted before, they know where they are now because they did the wrong thing. And so he's among those people who are doing the wrong thing. It shows that, you know, all this uh, terrorist uh, name being given to IPOP, whatever, he does not hold water. It only holds water in the north. It only holds water, water in the north. Your hero Trump is account account was even banned, talkless of deleting tweets. Okay, uh, Mumu, a president that couldn't address the nation is busy tweeting his speech. Okay, sorry. Um, you people are very backward, very very backward set of people. God bless Mi and all of us of truth. Someone said, I stand with Igbo brothers, Igbo lives matter i'm a yoruba by tribe but igbo runs in my veins i stand with them they are my brothers and sisters president buhari should test his popularity and good governance now by visiting his state of birth by road without security guards announced or unannounced same with his own town uh, cries uh, pas town criers p -A. But the fact remains that no Igbo man or woman will forget where he or she comes from or their history, no matter what you launch or how you launch it. Igbos are real in nature. 
when I see how Igbo relates with our northern brothers in Lagos here, it baffles me. Igbo gives means of livelihood to some northerners here. In a united na uh, country, what happens to one should have, have solidarity and sympathy of all. Keeping faith with our unity is diversity. Okay, in diversity. I'm not Igbo, but support hashtag I am Igbo too. We must leave Nigeria for good. I don't like this hashtag I am Igbo too as if we are gaining anything in Nigeria. Do not be deceived, my Igbo people. They have come again with another tie. Ties, ties. Action speaks. Buhari said, hashtag, um, Igbo before election. He even put on Igbo attire. Instead of um, Igbo hashtag, less hashtag, hashtag restructuring Nigeria or restructure Nigeria now. Let's there their low independence on federal government, state police, resource control, and, on, and so on and so forth. I'm not Igbo man, but I want everybody should go on their separate ways. Awusa and Fulani people do love power too much and they used to cheat other regions and they cannot bring development. That is the worst part of it. They cannot even engineer or initiate development. Why? Uh, we are a big family. Nothing can do our Igbo brother. This is not 1967 to 1970. Yoruba go change them for now failed nation unless i forget this generation is different this the com the most compassionate and caring region in nigeria and in the world at large is Igbo. Igbo are the highest taxpayers in nigeria they are hard working and ambitious i stand and restand with them hey <laughs> hey hashtag Igbo life matter send nigeria now to save save a bit split nigeria now to save lives okay between 1963 to 1967, minorities under Eastern Nigeria who were non Igbos were very dissatisfied with the way the Eastern government treated its own minorities. When marginalization was too much, Isaac Adakaburu stood up and declared the 12 day revolution in order to actualize the Niger Delta to Republic. Both it was same Eastern leaders who arrested him and handed him over to the federal military government led by Agni Rusi. He was kept in prison after being used issued capital punishment like Nelson Mandela kept Robin Island Isaac Boru and his Ijo freedom fighters were kept in Kirikiri by their own eastern brothers until the civil war broke out three months later in my 1967. It was General Guwan who exercised prerogative of mercy to Boru and released on condition fight for the Nigeria side. This was the beginning of prejudice. The he just remember their son on Boro Day. The message also sings. The always sing. The insecurity in Nigeria today is the rest to for power by three majority groups. The rest are watching. History has taught us which side to follow or stay on our own. Cause I am a Jotu. Hmm. This is therefore not the time to further hear inflammatory responses from the presidency and other critical stakeholders as a nation destined for greatness. <laughs> okay. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.